What's up, guys? Um, this is going to be a nice little, we call it, let's call it a special because it's not really a podcast episode or anything like that, but I just want to have almost like a, a round table with three of us, so like a triangle table, I guess we can call it, talking about beta for classic, or talking about kata in general. Um, all three of us are pretty big into kata, I would say, out of all the content creators. I think Scotty is definitely one of the most hyped. I'm obviously been really hyped, and we're going to talk about quite a bit of things. We're gonna, like, obviously, we're, we've been playing the beta a lot, some of us more than others. Um, let's talk about how the beta feels. What do we like about it? What do we don't like about it? You know, the world changed a lot. Have you been looking around at stuff? Why you should be excited for Kata? Why maybe you're not excited? And also there's a lot of hate with Kata. So I want to go over kind of why people are hating on it so much. And then they'll take us, Scotty and Jay will take us to a little content overview of what you can expect out of phase one. Yes. Yeah. Sounds how are you guys good. doing? Yeah, good, man. So yeah, I mean, if we, we, we can be transparent with the points that we're going to go over so people know... You know, we're gonna we'll do a bit of an intro. We're we're gonna yeah talk about how the beta, beta feels. Jay, you've well, you don't even if you get on the beta, you don't really plan on doing a great deal till the raids are out, right? You've said I'll play once eighty five's open, um, and we have like the cat zones. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm probably not gonna do the one to eighty. I've done it too many times. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but the rest, yeah, obviously, me and Cricks have been playing the beta a lot. So like, literally since the beta launched. Um, I, I, obviously, I've been non-stop on the beta. When I say I've been non-stop on the beta, I've been non-stop streaming. But like in between the beta, I've still been doing like Nomragon on Season of Discovery. I've been doing ICC twenty-five, Ruby Sanctum twenty-five, ICC ten, Gear in my Mage. You know, at, like as in on Raf. So I've been doing everything whilst also trying to get as many hours into the beta. And I, I'm I'm sixty-three now. Yeah. So you know, I, I should be yeah seventy four ish probably before I sleep again. How about you, Jay? You're right. Yeah, I've, I've been. Um... Oh, go ahead, Jay. You first. <laughs> I was gonna say there's no choice journeys on beta currently, is there? No. no. Well, but you get the guild level in perk. You oh, know, as soon as you join a guild, you level it's level twenty five straight away, so you get fast track. But that's nice. Yeah, I don't have a guild. I, so I chose the PvP server because I thought that there were people who were gonna play. I was wrong. People are playing on PvE server, so it's literally me and like two other people on the PvP server. So I've been just lone riding it. I have no no guild. Just kind of my wife had to do a surgery the other like a week ago, right when this started. So I kind of am on kid duty to my two kids. So been able to leak hours in there. I'm about to be fifty now. She comes home tomorrow, so thankfully I'll be able to just to go no life it. Obviously went warlock right away. So like we like as you guys know about what two years ago or so you guys have been on private servers for a while i joined you guys and you guys taught me everything about the raid so you know i'll sweat out a little bit so i obviously went warlock and i'm just exploring the world having fun yeah there's yeah, um yeah pretty great there's a lot definitely uh yeah i mean we can just go straight into that uh, you know as long as everyone's all right you know we don't really yeah. need to do any introductions like everyone knows who i am because we're on here mm -hmm. everyone knows who crix is obviously streaming on ease as well jay i mean if you like i i know most of the people watching my end obviously know who you are, but maybe for Crix's, uh, Crix's audience. So do YouTube more than, than Twitch or Kick or anything else streaming at the moment while my internet sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've played all versions of WoW. I think we worked out the other day that I've cleared every max like difficulty raid up to uh, the end of Shadowlands, mid-Shadowlands. So yeah, I mean, it's been... You know, I've played for a little while. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Cat is the expansion I've been the most hyped about for Classic, which is like the opposite of everyone else. So I'm, I'm looking forward to actually playing the fun stuff now. I wouldn't say obviously to everyone else. There is there is another like three or four of us that are looking forward to Cat, apparently. <laughs> apparently that's all I hear there is. Yeah. You know, if you go by YouTube comments, there's only about five of it. We're not even going to have enough people playing on, on the realms to be able to form a 10-man raid. So... We're gonna struggle, but... Yeah, but them heroic, them heroic. I think once they let more great. people in there, because I heard that they only let they gave thirty keys out, and then there's the friends and family in there. But sadly, I feel like there's a lot of streamers that 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 don't play it. They have the key. A lot of them are, and I'm saying streamers because they predominantly let a bunch of streamers in there. And outside of us, and I know, like you know, take note, Alondo. There's been a few classic guys or Lich King guys that are no lifing it. They're like 70, 75, and they're excited. But there's a lot of people who. Just they have it, but they're not playing. You know, I've even been in some people's chats where they flirted with the I the the flirting with wanting to play it, where they're like, "Yeah, I really want to play," and then their chats like, "No, no, no." So then they don't play it, like because of the hate that kind of gets. Yeah, and I, I actually, of, which I, is kind of stupid. It's funny because I said that on stream last night. Um, I said exactly that. You know, you'll get the you'll get these bigger streamers that will go on it 
for all of 20 minutes and then start seeing everyone like, oh my God, cat are low, dead on arrival and all that in their chat. And then they're going to like bow down to the viewers, obviously, and go back on season of Discovery or whatever. Whereas like, yeah. But I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm lucky the people who watch me are the complete opposite the people who watch me are like oh my god why are you on yeah. they saw me in icc last night and literally was like what are you doing man why are you doing this shit? like get back on cat <laughs> yeah so i have i have to ask then do you think that the kind of cat being dead thing is more of kind of just a meme thing now that it's kind of the expected response it's almost unpopular to like it that's how it seems. Yeah, that's what that's what I said too. I had a good analogy where I said cataclysm is like Nickelback. People just <laughs> you, it's like it's it's almost like it's cool to hate on whether you hate Nickelback or not. I'm indifferent, but it's like people there's people who don't like Nickelback and they don't know why they don't like it. it's like it's like it's cool to hate on Nickelback. And that's kind of what it feels like with Cata where but I also think that I noticed from my chat where I'm I, I've been known to play like all the different versions. Like I play retail, I play all these other things. But it's like I've noticed that my chat is slowly starting to leak in with people who are excited for Kata. I just think that there's not that many excited in terms of streamer wise, whether they're all classic Andes or Lich King or retail. And I think they'll come around. I think people will start coming around more as we get more into it, right? And uh Yeah, I think I, as, do, at least. I actually think as people try it, they're gonna be surprised. You know, like I don't think people understand even what it is. And I mean that like with the greatest of respect to those people that, that, that shit on it. Um, but they, you know, I have people say like, oh my God, they ruined the talent system in Cataclysm when, you know, you only had a choice of three. And it's like, that was mop. Or they're like, oh my God, you know, it was, I don't know, completely yeah, ruined. Like <laughs> a a AOE looting. I hate AOE looting. And it's like, no, that was mop. It's like the amount of systems... <laughs> The, yeah, or even, you know, when there was like account wide mounts and account wide pets, you know, oh, that came in in Kata, we got it early. No, that didn't even come in in Kata. That was again, that was MOP. It's like so many people think mm -hmm. that all of the, the, the big system changes that everyone hates about the game was, was Kata, and it, yeah. hardly any of them was. But I think hilarious. Kata was also that time where people back in the day, you had people graduating school, getting jobs, getting married, having kids, and Kata is just when it when they stopped playing and i feel like they forget that's the reason why they stopped playing and instead they jump on the bandwagon of just hating it instead of like seeing it there's all countless people and i'm not a big streamer by any means but i'll have a couple hundred 300 people watching and many people will be like oh wow i didn't know that was cat or this actually looks good or actually man i didn't want to play it at all but now that i've been watching it actually looks kind of cool like and it's just and all we're doing is leveling right now that's all we can do on the beta yeah and i think people uh, as the beta gets more open to to the masses I do think people will play it and be like, well, actually, this literally just feels like a better version of Wrath. Because quite honestly, all the classes play better in Kata than they do in Wrath. Uh, the raids are, are, well, I think the raids are better than the raids in Wrath. You know, it's, if you enjoy Wrath, yeah. I find it really, really strange to say, oh, but I don't like Kata. It's like the, the game mm. is almost just like Wrath Part 2. I, I've yeah. said this for a while, and people really hated it when I had this opinion before, that I think Kata is just an extended version of Wrath. The only thing that I can see why people wouldn't like it is the, the world overhaul. But, like, once you're 80, 80 like, you're not going to see most of this stuff anyway. Yeah. and I, Exactly. I, you're I not going to be in the old, the old world, and they're acting like they're going to be questing, when in reality, they're going to be hitting level 15 and RDF spamming. They're not going to see the old world. Which I think is sad because I never saw the old world because of that reason. On private servers, we have heirlooms and you get boosted. And you can buy tunes on that character or you can go to RDF. But now that I'm leveling it up in the world, it's kind of cool. Like they made everything much more streamlined. Like you don't need any add ons. You start at one hub. Uh, Tenaris is an example. You go to Gadgetson and you get it. You do three quests. It sends you to the next spot and tells you where to go in Tenaris with a new flight path. You know, there's four or five flight paths in the whole area. You don't have to run around like a chicken with his head cut off trying to go back and forth. And it's very linear telling you where to go like and some of the zones are like magical like ajara is now a, a 10, 11 to 20 questing zone with some cool quests it hit the bracket to where instead of having to go turn in quests like in stranglethorn that raptor mastery and the uh you know the, the panther and the young tigers you just don't have to run and turn the quest in. you just get a little pop-up on the side that says oh you're done turn it in and then you just get the next quest so it's like it's really quick it was pretty cool
Yeah, and I mean, I, so I've always played Alliance. Well, uh, again, like for anyone who's watched me on White Main, you know, every single one of my characters is Alliance. Uh, so for me, actually getting to do, like I went and done Stone Talon. We'll talk about that in a little while. Um, but, you know, th there was multiple of the Horde Zones, Northern Barons, all of that, you know, that I have, if I, if I mm -hmm. have done them, I, I didn't remember any of it. You know, I maybe I did do a Horde back in original Cataclysm, <laughs> but... I remembered none of it. And like some of the zones, like Thousand Needles, man, I was like, oh my God, this is just so insane. Getting your own boat to go around in the zone in and, you know, getting like sea legs, like what you're Wait, getting in a Jara. You get your own boat as a mount when you're doing Thousand Needles. Uh, bro, I swam. I, I went through Thousand Needles and had to swim all the way through. <laughs> no one told me about a boat. <laughs> I, I still hate Thousand Needles, but like, I mean, I know you're going to mention it, but stone talent i still remember the storyline from doing thousand needles uh, from doing stone talent sorry from original cat like going and doing law master in original cat I, I still remember the story it was great yeah i'm i'm a bit upset about that and we'll get on to that when we start talking about oh right, well i mean uh, we, we could we can just go straight into how the the, the beta feels and we'll just we'll get that over and i might as well start now i've mentioned it i've got to be honest if i was blizzard I am enjoying it. I want to put it out there. Like this is not any hate towards Cataclysm as a, as a whole because obviously I'm mega excited. I love Cataclysm. I've enjoyed leveling. Uh, I, I'm I, you know I enjoy how the mage plays, which is what I'm actually leveling. But I would have been ashamed to put this out and call it a beta. Like this is an alpha. Like the state of it is mm -hmm. is shocking. Like absolutely shocking. Like I, I and the fact that there's not been any I hot fixes. Had a lot of issues. I have had loads of issues. Yeah. Well, put it this way. I'm leveling as an oh, arcane really? okay. mage. I'm leveling as arcane because frost and fire both don't work. <laughs> oh, what's going on with those? Um, well, the pet for frost does nothing. There's no pet bar. It just stands there and does nothing. Pet attack macros, nothing works. Uh, so, you know, playing frost without your big level 10 ability that you get um, is kind of pointless. And fire, hot streak, does not proc. <laughs> it's like... I can't oh, wow. get instant pyroblasts. So literally the key talent for both specs don't work. So I'm leveling as Arcane, which to be fair, Arcane's it, it's pretty chill anyway. Like there's no issue with it. Um, but where's yeah. the hotfixes been, man? I know it's been the weekend, you, you know, when it's launched, yeah. but it's Monday but, now. Surely all this is working. Have you respect? Like, have you yeah. have you actually been out in the open world yeah. and respect? Did you lose your main abilities? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I re yep. I was just gonna say to piggyback off what you said. I'm playing a warlock, pet action bars. Hello, and they don't work. So the, you can so and I've tried the pet attack. I've tried macros. I tried scripts. I tried everything. And what I learned that you can do is, if you log out and log in occasionally, your action bar will come back. Right? Yeah. So I logged out and logged in. And I just I just slash camp to instant log out like 67 times or something the other day, literally until I got. I was waiting to start stream. And I waited till action bars came up. Or just now, I just played for the past three hours and I didn't have my action bar. And then I go, oh, let me just log out real quick and see if my action bar comes back. And then they come back up. But if you can get it to come back up, you can put your pet on defensive and, and then at least your pet will fight on defensive. And then, yeah, the, the respecking thing, which like, if I'm Demonology, you get your Felguard baseline. But if I res use my dual spec talent or something, I don't get it. So you're just permanently in a thing. And as a class that needs a pet, like... I was I almost stopped playing and went to another class because I couldn't use a pet bar, you know. Yeah, well, I was in um, so I was in Hellfire. I just, like this will be quick, Jay. I was in yeah Hellfire and I was about to do like you know uh, it weren't a group quest, but it was just a, a fairly hard you know hard quest. It used to be a group quest before Cata. Um, but I was fire and I was like mm, I want to mm. just be able to burst this down quick, so I'll respec Arcane and I went Arcane and this was the first time I'd actually respect. And then Arcane Barrage was missing and I was like. What? What? Like, what's happened? Oh, I'll go back to fire, and then I went back to fire, and pyroblast went. So now I've got two specs. <laughs> so I then had to go all the way back yeah. and and yeah, reset my talents. But you know, that's yeah, terrible. So I mean, the issue is, is that and and don't wrong, I'm a content creator as well. I get it. I I want to be able to play the beta, and I'm sure everyone else does. But when you are given early access or closed beta access to streamers then are then going to go and play it and, and showcase your product for that product to just not be functioning just doesn't make sense to me 
Oh, I, I agree. And uh, we're talking ba yeah. we're talking basic things as well, you know, like the What's classes the working. Mm -hmm. Oh, the map. Don't get me started on the map. So I don't know. Have you actually noticed the, the map, Cricks, where it's like in the certain zones? No, the, the, the actual world map. So, um, you know, zone map, sorry. So in certain zones, it's, yeah. it's out of whack. So in the Barrens, Northern Barrens, for example, yeah. it'll look like you're in crossroads according to the map, but you're not. You're mm -hmm. about... 500 yards north of it like it's yeah, the map man so, yeah and the outline for the map when you're looking at the map too like there's like you see an outline on the like whole bottom like side of it instead of outlining the actual map mm, yeah no hot fixes yet i don't know if they're just waiting for tuesday to do it there's also been some quest bugs i did an ashenville quest i found which is annoying because i finally got my action bars as i was talking about and what happens is if you log out it can, you have a chance for it to go away I have it for like 10 minutes. I do a quest and my chat is warning me like, yo, this was a bug quest back in the day. Like we can never, ever, they never fix this quest. And then I do it and I get bugged out and I couldn't even do anything. I had to fully log out. Was it, was it the one to ride the, the, the yep. beast into Ashenvale to Splinter yep. Tree post? Into Splinter Spell. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. He's, he's constantly out watering the bushes and never returns. Um, the the yeah, worst one was Stone Talon. So again, if you like Stone Talon is one of the best questing there. zones I've done. Uh, did you finish the zone? No, I didn't level Stone Town. I don't remember where I went. Oh, you didn't. I didn't, okay. I didn't level Stone Town. Uh, so if you go to Stone Town, they're twenty five thirty or thirty to thirty five. Hmm, thirty. Thirty. I think I went there at like thirty three, something like that. If I remember rightly, I can't remember. Yeah, uh, I think that was my st my uh, Stranglethorn route. Yeah, I have done STV as well. Um, but Stone Talon is amazing. Like you, when you, next character you level make sure you go and do stone talon put it this way you'll do like 10 minute levels well it depends on the bug you're about to talk about well, yeah you know? once it's once it's fixed <laughs> but actually even even being broken like you'll still get two levels in about 20 minutes like it's really really quick mm -hmm. um but then yeah you get 19 quests in halfway through the story uh, and then you can't get any further because one of the quests you have to sit on a gun and shoot like shoot airplanes down um but they don't actually count yeah. For the quest when you're shooting them down so that's it that's the end of the zone like you, you know and you, you you're not even halfway through it yet uh it's things like that that have frustrated the life out of me uh, but like that when i say fr it's frustrating but that i wouldn't be angry about you know that is the purpose of the beta testing should be checking all of these zones and all of the quests because every quest in the zones you know like everything's changed so I like totally get that some quests mm -hmm. are going to be bugged. I'm not complaining about that. Obviously, like I say, it's frustrating. Um, but the classes and the basics, like the map and being able to respec and not lose your abilities, like I'm sorry, that 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 tells me there's been no internal testing. Are you telling me during None. internal testing they never tried to use dual spec or they never opened their map? You know, it's like <laughs> uh, uh, there's been Nobody zero testing. Yeah, no one had a pet. Exactly. It's so. I wonder if they do do that. Do you do you have like somebody at Blizzard who just hey play this go? I mean, that's what they're using us for at the same time, I guess. But there has to be like the, the, someone go family and friends and be like, hey, level one to sixty. They must have had a quality assurance team. It might not be as as kind of clear cut as here go on, go on level one to sixty or something, but they must have had a QA team go and and do something. Yeah, but. I mean, it just just doesn't seem to be. Like I said, I, I think I don't have beta currently, but even if I did, I, I probably wouldn't play it. Um, and I, I think that's going into this whole issue of of kind of cat a dead on arrival is, you know, the first impressions that people are getting now had to be good. They had to be impressed to want to come and play it. And realistically, it, it's not the way at the moment. But hopefully, once uh, we get a few hot fixes and things it can people will start getting a little bit more excited well to mm. be fair i don't be outside of those i've had like maybe two or three quest bugs and obviously my pet bars i'm it's a lot of fun i'm not having i'm not having any i would still suggest playing it even with these little issues or just like like there's not they're not it's not game breaking like i can't i'm a warlock and i can't use my pet that's like the biggest thing in the world other than that it's like i'm not i mean i've had a couple like that Ashenville quest i've had a couple epl bugs but it was none of it was game breaking to where it forces me not to play you know what i mean yeah and i agree it's yeah like you know i'm i'm loving it i'm logged in now and i'll be on for probably the next 12 hours yeah. at least uh i'm loving it uh yeah. but i just find it again it's more the incompetence of uh, of blizzard 
you know, I, I just, I really think some of these basics should be tested. It shouldn't just be like their testing. I'm assuming for this beta was they logged in and went, yeah, that's working. And then they went, right, let's put it live then. You know, the fact that they could get in the game, <laughs> that, that's good enough. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's, that's really not good enough when you can go on a private server where everything yeah. works and that's free. <laughs> it's like it, they need to, they just need to put a bit of effort in, but yeah, overall, yeah, it, as long as they fix some of the, shit, like fix the map, fix out the, uh, the, you know, the talents, yeah, respecking and stuff like that. And a few quests, uh, yeah, it's, it's mostly, it's mostly fine. But we haven't got any anything. Ca I'm trying to think. There has been some other quite annoying things, um, but there's no no actual cataclysm systems in. You know, herbs and mines are not giving XP. Um, there's no archaeology. Yeah, the, there's no reforging. Oh, yeah. Or like like we, we've got all of that yet to go through. That probably <laughs> probably will no be bugged for months. Is is RDF on the beta yet? Yeah, that don't work either. Yeah, okay. it's, it's like when you press I, you can see the dungeons and what you can do, but it's locked. And also, like, I'm in a Discord with some of the people from Blizzard, and like when it got brought up, right away somebody mentioned there's no professions, we can't do RDF, and they said that the goal, the whole entire goal of this first build is leveling. Is the leveling yeah. specifically? They said leveling one to sixty is what they're worried about doing. Mm, and yeah. then, so I'm assuming in the next build there will be something else that comes in there. But I know that they said like right now the main build for it was strictly. Uh, one to sixty. Yeah, and that's why people who have got on the beta when they're saying like, "Oh, you know, when's character copies going to be out?" It's like it would be ridiculous for there to be character copies because then no one would do the leveling. Mm -hmm. No, and, and char character copies is, is exactly yeah a whole different part of beta and and something that will come much later. And I do like if you aren't interested in the leveling, then you know wait for it. Like you're not going to lose anything by waiting for it. No, but I've I've loved the leveling though. Like I just want to yeah put that out there, yeah. re-emphasize re it. Like some of these zones at now are absolutely amazing, and I know that's because of my hate for for um, vanilla style leveling. Anyway, you know that, there's there's no secret. I absolutely detest vanilla leveling. It's too slow. You know you're going from zone to zone because you run out of quests because the they get too hard, and then you got to go somewhere else. Then you go back there again once you're a little bit higher. Like I, I don't like that. I much prefer. You know the outland slash northrend leveling style which basically now extends into the one to you know all the way from one to sort of 60. Uh, but like blasted lands man that that place is insane like it, you, once you get to as soon as you're 56 cricks go to blasted lands because it is so much fun going in the mines and you like yeah. it, like metal gear solid you turn yourself into okay. a crate yeah. and uh, it, it's really cool one thing I'm I'm really looking forward to is rares giving like a quest worth of XP, and like every dungeon having it having like being worth running just once, just if nothing else, just once for the quest. It does break up leveling so much better. I've missed that. I've I've missed the being able to go in and do a dungeon like that. That's my favorite way of leveling in Cataclysm. Is like you say, as soon as you know, oh right, I'll get dead mines now. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you'll go and do it. Oh, it's like, oh, I'll be able to get RFK now. You'll go and do it. And yeah, yeah. You, you come out with a level and a half yeah. or whatever, and then you carry on questing. It, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to that all working and there being enough people mm -hmm. to actually do the stuff. Uh, but the rares giving XP, that is actually working. Um, and yeah. it's very good. Dude, it's like 22 times the experience of a, of a rare. A rare to get a, a normal mob gives you 200 experience, a rare gives you like four to 5K. It's like crazy. Yeah. I was gonna say that I'm glad. I'm glad that this is probably one of the only times I will level in the old world, simply because it, like strictly questing. And I was astonished. Like when I was driving home, when I heard the beta was out, I was like, "Damn, we got a quest." That sounds kind of boring. I'm having a blast. Like seeing the new zones are cool. It's very streamlined with the quest. Like I said, like the traveling is nice. Besides, outside of the bugs, well, obviously there's bugs, but it's 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 nice to see the world that people complain about it a lot of the times because it did change and i get for from the classic purist point of view i get it like they like the 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 brain numbing leveling forever but we've been doing it for so long even in in lich king with the speed or the experience bonus it takes a while to level so it's been a lot of fun I, i'm glad that they did do this at first before we go back to no lifing dungeons when they open it up you know mm, yeah the uh, boosts and i i've not Whoa. seen anybody say that they that you know i've not seen anybody go man this questing looks terrible you know like people who have joined to see what it's about and you know come to see like the cat of, yeah the cat of stream 
everyone's been like, man, like, that actually looks fun. You know, like, it, 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 it's impossible not to. Some of the quests are so wild. You know, and like you said about traveling around, the good thing is most of the time when you're going from zone to zone, if you're going somewhere new, I don't know, you might jump in a cannon that fires you over to it or you'll get in a, a hot air balloon that will travel you somewhere, you know. Yeah, there's normally yeah. there's normally these sort of quick ways. Or rocket think... jetpack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, And I, I just like that. I, I mean, I just like questing. I don't want to be spending like half my time running all over the world, you know. I'm not going to lie. The fact that Crix has been swimming through Thousand Needles has proper made me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> bro swam through it i'm over here like this is so cool <laughs> yeah get go yeah, over there and get yourself a boat the thing is my favorite thing was you know you you land somewhere and it sends you it gives you five quests or you know four quests you do those four quests you might have to run back and forth to like not far i'm talking like within a thousand yards like you don't have to go far and then when you turn in all the quests it gives you one quest to go to the next hub in that zone so you're like, you're in, you know, Tenaris and you go to Gadgetson and after you do those three, four quests, it sends you to the pirate side over there. You turn that quest in, and then that person gives you three or four more quests to go a couple thousand yards away. And then you go do that. And then you turn those in and then he gives you another one to go down by where the bugs are. And it's like, you don't, I've been telling chat, like you don't need quests. The quest, he still has the quality of life, like seeing how many mobs you need on your tooltip and auto turn and stuff. But like, I have had literally no issue once I figured out that it's like five levels per zone. I didn't know that at first. And then I pulled up Ding 85 and I was like, oh, okay, it goes like this. But like, you don't, outside of like reading the occasional quest, because I didn't know what to do. Like it doesn't, there's nothing that tells you what to do. It was pretty, it's pretty smooth on that part. I was, I was kind of shocked at how smooth the questing was. Decent experience, not too fast, but definitely not too slow. The mounts, getting your mounts are really nice too. I really like that, being able to get your mount right away. I don't know how Outlands feels, Scotty. Is it, sl is it, I know chat was saying it's a little slower than um, yeah. the old world. Yeah, I mean, it's this no. I mean, yes and no. Yeah, it is slower, but obviously, this is the bit that they're going to speed up. So, Outland and Northrend is the the part of it that they're going to speed up. That's one of the ch hashtag changes that they're going to do. Um, but it's not that bad. I mean, again, yeah. I I quite like Outland and Northrend anyway. So I'm not like I don't get here and worry too much about how long it's taking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it's pretty much the same as. Same as Raf. I mean, you can fly right away too. So yeah, you can fly That's straight cool. away. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a little bit quicker than what it is now in Raf. I think it's like twenty percent XP reduction or something. It should be in a four point three state, maybe a bit more. Um, but yeah, no, overall, it's yeah, really cool. I think you said it earlier when you were streaming, Crix, about like things like rested XP and that. Like, there's gonna be obviously optimized routes and optimized quests and things, mm -hmm. but. I also feel like it's less mandatory than ever now in that if you didn't want it, I felt for yep. me that like I'm awful at questing. So if I didn't have something that could just, you know, follow the arrow and get on with it, I just wouldn't level characters. Whereas now it's like, I yeah, have that. Yeah. It's always going to just daisy chain yeah. to the next thing. And it's so like, it's so nice. There's still going to be the optimal ways and the speed runs and all that sort of stuff. But just generally for, like how the game plays by itself i think it's in such a better state yeah yeah like just compare it to the raft beta like you know when you didn't have the because they never added the um the the, the in-game quest helper did they so doing like you realized you thought you knew everything about raft but then you realized how <laughs> how little you did know when you literally had no questy no rested xp no in-game quest helper nothing uh this is yeah this has been less painful i mean yeah, yeah. You, I, I would say de definitely Quest DM, Rested XP, and Zygor, yeah, or whatever else, sure. will be, le yeah, less, re I think you could jump in as a new player and not think, Shit, I really need to go and, I need to go and get one of them, you know, or I'm not going to be able yeah. to level. I, I, I me, me personally, mm, like, like almost I would, need it. I would like, still rather faster, be using like, one of them. You don't need it, need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't need it, but, you know, I've said loads of times while I've been streaming the last couple of days, yeah. like, I do miss I, I miss a questy or rested XP. A, either one of them would just be nice because it's more with the the fact that the map's been bugged as well. So like yeah. that Northern Barons took me a long time because I was trying to like work out where I was in correlation to the like a certain area, and it <laughs> it, it was an absolute nightmare, honestly. And I was like, man, I just like wish I had a blue arrow to follow, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, but yeah, I suppose like that's the. Unless you got anything else to add on the general feel of the beta, I mean, I uh, oh no, feels good. Cool. Need more people to play with. Other than that, feels good. 
Yeah. The dungeons felt good too. I've done a couple dungeons, uh, like walking in, you could walk into them and they seem pretty good. My friend take notes that he was soloing the TBC dungeons as a Destro lock with pretty much with he. So good. They give good experience. They have the quest working in there and stuff. Mm, yeah. Yeah. See, I, I've been intentionally making sure I actually just stay questing the whole time, you know, like, I, and I've, because mm -hmm. I'm a mage, man. I could have just gone frost and just AOE grinded, but I was yeah. like, well, they, you know, they want us to test all the quests. So I'm testing all the quests. Yeah, I'm exactly. not worrying we're about like, how long it takes. I'm like, we're not doing it for hype. We're doing it because we want to actually see the world make the game a good game, you know? Exactly. And that's exactly what I've been saying. Yeah, cool. All right. So why, like, like yeah, this, this can be really brief because I think we've probably covered a lot of it anyway. Um, but like, what, why should people be excited about Kata? You know, like what would be the primary reason to like, you know, get people to stop hating on a game that they probably haven't even played? You know, they're just, yeah, they're, it, it, we can call it the Nickelback effect from now on, Cricks. I like that. The best thing I can say for people to go and do, and I think this is like, because there's so many reasons to to like Kata, I genuinely think it's one of the stronger expansions. Um, and if you enjoyed Wrath of the Lich King, I think Kata is a natural progression of, it's everything that Wrath offers just slightly better. Um, in like in every aspect, PvP, raids, leveling, everything. I, I genuinely believe that. Um, but actually go and have a look at the features that Kata brings in. Because you mentioned it earlier, Scott, about how many people think, oh, I don't like Kata because of this reason. And this reason doesn't exist for another expansion or two. It, like f different aspects of talents or, or things like that, or skills that were added or removed. Um they didn't come in until much later anyway. So actually going and having a look at the features and realizing that Cat is not that big of a leap from Wrath. No. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree. I was comparing it to what when I'm playing the game, what feels different from Classic, because everyone's like, this is retail now. The talent changes. Obviously, there's talent changes, there's different classes and spells and stuff. Outside of that base talent, when you can choose your talent and tells you what a passive and spell you get, that's new. You know, the new prime glyphs not, and obviously the world changes. Other than that, nothing really feels too out of place in comparison to Wrath. A little more vehicle quest than normal. Nothing's like too crazy on it, to be honest, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I, 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 exactly what Jay said. It's just a natural progression on from Wrath. For me, I don't play and I'm like, man, this is too different. There's practically no difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, the specs play slightly different, but like uh, none of them play like wildly different while you're leveling you know like i mean once you level 85 obviously it's a different story but they're still like mm. they're still just engaging specs to play uh, maybe a little bit more difficult than wrath maybe that's what puts people off you know they're still easy mm. classes to play but like in general there is there's more to think about with all the classes i do wonder if the like season of discovery has inadvertently done a positive thing for Kata in that, you know, people are now used to leveling and having Chaos Bolt early or Star Surge or, you know, some of these core class abilities early on that makes them feel strong and gives that kind of class fantasy a little bit. Whether, you know, going into Kata now and picking up Conflag or Chaos Bolt yeah. or Water Elemental, oh, having right. those abilities early, they, it's going to feel good. Like leveling is going to feel nice because you've got these these cool abilities to use. And suddenly that's not going to feel so abstract where it didn't, it would have if he had gone from Wrath to Kata because, you know, we wouldn't have had any of these abilities till the end of the talent trees. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, you know, you get Felguard at level 10 versus level 50 or whatever you would get it, like stuff like that having conflag baseline like he said having a a permanent water element that you don't need to glyph into a permanent wall at water at level 10 massive like that's dope yeah yeah 100 percent, and that's a good good thought yeah that maybe season of discovery has almost yeah shown people like this is you know that's not a bad thing um that i'll tell you what is a bad thing my 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 biggest negative of cataclysm like if I, if blizzard would actually go in and change it would be drastic by the way, like the changes, or it would not drastic, but it would be a lot of effort for Blizzard. Um, I I always have disliked um the actual levels that you get abilities, and and that's pretty much for every class that I've I've ever played. You know where it's like yeah. not getting Blizzard till fifty two as a mage. You know, not getting oh, wow. uh, ice armor till like fifty four. Not getting um, you know, it's like some some of the key things you used to have in. I mean, even a buff. You know, like I think I don't think it's still level thirty-four before you even get 
a, a single buff to use on yourself, which is molten armor. Um, it's oh, wow. it, it, yeah, it's really weird. Um, and feral is the same where that like, you don't get shred till like uh, I can't remember forty six, fifty two, something something like that. Um, uh, just some of them are just a little bit strange. The level you get things. Um, yeah. I think like, maybe I agree. Addressing... That is a, that's weird. I feel like a lot of people won't even realize that because like like I said, I don't know how many people are going to be slow leveling in the old world. You know what I mean? Or things like I, I never noticed was you get a con a uh, town point every two levels instead of every level, right? Like yeah, the things yeah. we don't notice because like on private servers we're just boosted up or you know we're just instantly you do one dungeon you're just ten levels type stuff. <laughs> mm. I, I have just realised that I'm actually going to have to do TBC and Wrath and I'm not just going to skip all that with a mail. Yeah, but, but oh, yeah, yeah that's, uh, I said that too. I told I was still in chat about that. Like on the server, like when you hit level sixty, you get something in the mail. When you open that thing, you're instantly eighty. Like literally, like it's crazy. Like I was like, damn, I never actually did anything. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if so. Kind of something that they've talked about is joyous journeys, and when they added it in prior to ICC, they talked about it being added until further notice. I think if that's something that just exists within Kata, then class issues would be less noticeable because yeah. you know getting to thirty odd is not going to take you very long at all. So you're going to very quickly feel like you have the, your core abilities. Um, but I do agree, actually, missing those abilities just feels like there's gaps in your rotation. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. You know, it just feels strange more than, you know, I'm, it, I'm not saying like it makes a massive difference where it, it makes it, mm -hmm. the game any less enjoyable to play. It just, it feels weird. You know, but like on the other hand, getting certain abilities earlier feels strange as well. You know, getting the counter spell at level nine. You know, when it's like, yeah. well, actually, at, 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 at level nine, I don't really need counter spell. I could do with, you know, yeah, I, was... I could do without to make some water. By the way, as a mage, you can't make water. <laughs> you can't make food and water till about thirty eight. Yeah, that just shouldn't be. That shouldn't be that late. It feels that's like mage kind of got shafted with that because I mean, I feel like the warlock spells were pretty good getting them early and stuff, but that's. I feel like there's a few in far but with us it's like I you learn some spells and from like 30 to 60 you get nothing nothing important you just get like no spell you're just like warlocks got all their spells for all the specs and immediately like within like level 20 it was crazy and then just boring nothingness between there which is like whatever you know yeah so I suppose that's a good that's a good point isn't it though like yeah, yeah. I, I'm complaining but actually at least I've got a reason to be excited at, at higher levels because I am constantly like oh i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get mirror images at 50 i'm gonna get you know whatever um but it was the food and water one actually is probably the bit was the biggest one for me running around for 38 levels having to you know buy food and water when i'm a mage like come yeah. off it it's the mage thing you know <laughs> I, i'm just looking through now and looking at the like warlock what level you get certain abilities yeah. uh and like, there's nothing that doesn't really make sense like you know, you pick up demon armor at level eight, so yeah, it's not as good as fell armor, but it's still something. You get I hate the demon armor though. change too. It doesn't heal you anymore. It's stupid. Yeah, it's just health generated now, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's it's uh, yeah, it's health. How much health you're taking in, but where it yeah. used to be HP five, which was one of yeah. the main things why I liked it so much for leveling. But that's normal because fell armor you never get early anyway in Lich King or whenever it came into the picture anyway. So it's kind of like I'm used to not having it. You know, and yeah. not getting incinerate early at the same level you use to get it to 64. So it's not bad. Yeah. Kind of, uh, it just, I don't know, maybe mages, they just hate mages, which I'm not against. Yeah. Uh, clearly. Yeah, I'm going to start a Shadow Priest here soon, so we'll see what's different about Priest. But yeah, it feels like, yeah, overall. I'm glad uh, I didn't when... go mage. I was going to go mage when I had this action bug, action bar issue. So now I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, on the I'm basis that none, none of it works. <laughs> Wait for me just to get living flame and just to be overpowered again. All right. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, I, that, that's the one thing I miss going from season of discovery onto cat. Or I, I'm well, even onto wrath. I do miss living flame. How many times have you tried to heal yourself as an arcane mage? <laughs> um, I, I haven't on here, but I have actually pressed like when I've been on my wrath mage, I've gone to do yeah, re a regen or, or go to use um, uh. What's the what's the word? The, the yeah, chronostatic preservation. Such a such, yeah. a, such a ridiculously long word for. Uh, I, I go to use that two <laughs> two two heal. second heal. heal. Yeah, that two second heal. <laughs> um, my biggest thing is metas 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 forever. It's a form in in sod. So now when I use meta oh, and Lich King right here, I'm just like, where, where it's gone away. What the hell? 
<laughs> like seeing pain report pain. him and now I still cast seeing pain. I'm like, why am I casting seeing pain? <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, uh, I report it. <laughs> they done, they've, done, they've done a lot right, you know, in Season of Discovery with, you know, some of those new shiny things. I've said I'd love to see them experiment a bit in Kata and onwards, you know, like even yeah. if it was, you know, the, the flavor of Kata is like not only are you getting all this new content or no, new old content, but we're also adding Tank Warlock in this phase, uh, in, in Kata, uh, in, and then in Mop, they add Mage Healer. Uh, you know, like, because they can say, look, it's done really well in Season of Discovery. We know how to balance it and tune it now. So, you know, let's put some of that weird stuff into Kata. I would, be, I know, because I don't think be there's wild. as many Kata purists, you know, as there was, you know, people who didn't want TBC being touched or RAF being touched or whatever. I think the people that are playing Kata enjoy the, you know, uh, maybe more explorative content, if that makes sense. You know, I, I don't see that many people who would be like, no, I don't want that. That sounds shit. I think the majority of people that are excited for Kata would be like, yeah, man, that sounds sick. Like, yes, yeah, actual new stuff with Kata as well. Oh, I mean, the frustrating thing. part is, is we had the survey, right, where they talked about, would you be uh, like to see this in Cataclysm or that and whatever, and it was all these different, like, new things. And then th there's been no talking about any changes at all for Cataclysm. It's not to say that they aren't coming and they just haven't announced them yet, but like as it is at the moment, we are just expecting Kata as it is. So do we know what version of Kata we're getting currently? So I imagine we're going to get 4.3.4. It will be, yeah. But I wonder if we'll get pre-nerf heroics again. I think they're going to because they did it before. And yeah. Uh... Please do that because that is a raid. Coming from a raider perspective, and I'm more of a hardcore raider. I think they everybody would love that. Maybe not everybody because there's always the people who can't do it. But like that is cata rating is peak, and I think people well, are no, sleeping on it a lot. You know, I'm not even necessarily on about the raids. Like just the heroics. Just the, heroics the original yeah. versions were, were crazy. Yeah, um, I wonder if we'll get kind of the pre nerf heroics. I I don't know. I hope so. I think people are complaining heavily about it if heroics are too hard. Yeah, that's why I'm mind, on the They want dungeons to be easy, so they're going to be like... Well, uh, one thing that I'd be interested in is, uh, what do you guys think about a fresh server? you think they're going to run a fresh? Like they did I uh, hope not. I hope not. I won't be playing on it. Oh, yeah, I won't either. I, I'm, like, I'm on the side of, like, I won't be playing it no matter what. I think they would add one because they did do it for Lich King, but at the same time, they have to realize... that You know they know, like, oh, that was dead on arrival. That lasted... I rolled an alt on Fresh with Cargos and them, and that server was dead within a, day, a month or two. So it's like, why do that? But like, maybe they do just to appease, because it doesn't hurt anybody if they do, but it, they'll get more people complaining if they don't than if they do, you know? I don't know that that's true now. I think in Wrath, that was definitely true, but it was so poorly managed. And the problem is, like, so me and Scott both rolled on, on a Fresh server, we both rolled on Thekel, and. It was so poorly managed, it led to a point where, you know, we ended up getting all the people who have been playing on every other server and just server transferred across anyway. None of the things that made that server special and fresh stayed. It ended up just turning into another server. Um, so it was fun for a little while. And if they wanted to do it as like an event thing, so, you know, we're going to open up a fresh server with the idea of going through maybe phase one, but then we're going to open transfers if, it, if it's getting low or things like that, maybe. But I personally wouldn't risk going to a fresh server again. I'd want them well, to yeah, say... I, I wouldn't play one, yeah. I, I'd want them to say, look, guys, we know a lot of you like fresh. We're going to launch a fresh server, but we just want you to all understand that we will fuck it up by the time Cataclysm finishes. You know, just <laughs> as, as, as long as they're just honest from, you know, from the offset, I, I'd, yeah. I'd be happy. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, and I love Fresh. You know, like if the cat, um, if Raf Fresh would have actually um, met my expectations, I would be going Cat Fresh if they launched a fresh server 100%. Yeah. But I got mm -hmm. bit yeah. by that once and it's not happening again. You know, I I'm, I'm not the sort of person where I'm like worried about, um, you know, losing all my character progression and all my items and all that. Like, I don't care. Like, Fresh is best. I, I would always just choose to go Fresh. Um, but then at the same time, it's an absolute waste of time losing all your progress and all your gold and everything you've got on an established server when you know that you're going to end up back there anyway because yeah. the, the fresh yeah. server will die and you'll Agreed. end up transferring back to your old server, so you might as well just stay where you are. 
Agreed. I think the only big, uh, like the big thing for fresh is when people are like the private server players who don't have anything established on Lich King and it lets them feel like they have even ground there. But like you said, if Blizzard just goes, Hey, we're going to it up, we'll do it, but we're probably going to mess it up and mm -hmm. let you guys transfer off. Again, I feel like that was more relevant for Wrath as well because you had a lot of Wrath private server players. Mm -hmm. Whereas you still have private server players, it's not something that doesn't exist. But those players, I still feel like even if they joined, you know, ready now and started preparing now, they're going to be in such a better position with cat knowledge that I, I don't think it would even matter. Yeah, it's definitely a less played private server scene. Um, and, definitely. Yeah. And it, that's what I'm, why I'm actually really excited, which is something we've not spoke about. Um, I feel like RAF, it, you know, was so widely played and, like, you know, we'd played mm -hmm. on God knows how many private servers. Um, you know, you knew everything. Spot really good yep. spots to grind to make gold. Really good places to boost. Re like every boss inside out. Whereas I feel like Catter is just there's less of that. You know, there will actually be stuff to solve. You know, it's not fully solved. And uh, I was saying to Lee, like, um, we was looking at like different stuff for classes. You know, on uh, from elitist jerks back in the day and stuff like that. I was looking at mage specific stuff, and it's like. Unless you was one of the big boys that was clearing all heroic raids, as an example, like you wouldn't be taken seriously on elitist jerks. You know your opinion on oh, yeah. what? What if we was to try this? It was like, well, you didn't matter, mate. You're not. You're not like you're not doing enough content. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whereas in classic, it doesn't matter. You could like no, no one cares. Like you could have literally never stepped foot in a raid. But if you say on like the mage Discord or warlock Discord something that makes sense, people will listen and be like, yeah, let's try that. Let's let's see what we can do. Yeah. You know, and it makes us all better players and we discover things. And, and I, I think we will be doing things in Kata that people on private servers will be like, what, where, where did that come from? You know, like, <laughs> and that's what I'm excited to see. Yeah, I think the meta hasn't been fully found in Kata because even like some of the leaders jerk guys I've went over aren't, aren't fully correct on some things with classes that we figured out. But I think well, this is classic community. It's, it's very dj -y, much more dj -y than private servers. I, as we can tell from TBC, cl vanilla servers, TBC, Lich King, the private servers are are brilliant, but there's stuff that the classic community always figures out. Mm. You know? So we're going to have the same thing that happened in Wrath as well, but obviously with Wrath it was slightly different because every private server played on 3.4.3, mm. whereas in Cataclysm, you know, a lot of this Elitist Jerks information was based on different patches because they would have been on the original the actual correct content patch yeah so we're going to be on end game dragon soul balancing going into you know the, the first hero rating which yeah i do think that there is going to be things that we're going to have to learn and figure out but um that that's cool that's fun um i also do think that kata is not something that most guilds are going to go through on night one and just clear all the content of, of mm -hmm. a new tier. I don't, I disagree. I actually think everything will be cleared night one. Um, I think everything will be no, no, I'm, I'm, the difficulty they set it out too, right? No, yeah. I'm not saying that it won't be cleared by guilds. I'm just saying that, you majority. know, the majority of guilds, how many guilds didn't clear Nax night oh, one? Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. If you compare it, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you compare it to that, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you went in and you didn't clear Nax night one, then obviously you was. You was already a, a, a casual social type guild, you know, which there's obviously nothing wrong with. Um, but yeah, this, yeah, you're going to get the top, top guilds going. And I, I'd say, you know, Sinestra is going to die night one if Heroic is open straight yeah. away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the majority, uh, you're probably looking at maybe three or four Heroic bosses in the first week. You know, I'd mm. say that's probably a good number. Because uh, they are a massive step up. Like, there's no doubt about it, you know. When we was playing on White Main, just as an example, you know, with 10, like, uh, uh, reasonably good players, you know, there was no one really being carried, uh, and the bosses were hard. You know, like, no no doubt about it, they were hard. And they're probably, they're, I don't know if they're tuned up on White Main or they're just pre-nerf, but um, do you know, Jay? I don't know which way around it is. Uh, they were pre-nerf, and we had... Uh the like dampening type thing, thing wouldn't it as well uh, uh for the, oh yeah actually that is true the heroic bosses were had the the increased difficulty so on white main it was slightly more difficult on heroic yeah i think uh, one thing and, that's different 
that is on on Kata, which people will find out is there's more mechanics on the bosses. And that's one thing I feel like in the classic community, like look at ICC when ICC came out, look how many people were dying on death was for the ghosts or Lich King, all the Lich King mechanics. People kept comparing a Lich King to a retail fight because people were, it was that hard yeah. for some people, you know what I mean? Like the Blood Queen, even something as simple as that or like the council fight, there's so many things that people, the classic community were just atrocious at for a while. And that's kind of how Kata raids are. Like if you go into Firelands, look how many bosses have so many mechanics that people aren't going to be used to. It's going to take some time. So it's like less of the difficulty of how hard everything hits and how hard it is to kill things in Heroic. I think it's just people figuring out mechanics. Look, remember Mac Darrett on cubes? Like, yeah. I mean, Kata is One... 20 times worse than that, you know? One thing I do like about Kata raiding, and it's not true for every boss, but for most bosses, is that if you just do the mechanics, you'll eventually kill the boss. Yep. So there's very few bosses that have hard enrage timers. Like I use Ragnaros as a perfect example. Ragnaros doesn't have a burn phase until the last phase. Mm -hmm. So everything up to that, if you just do the mechanics, you'll get through. So good, consistent guilds are going to be better than, you know, guilds that just stack 10 DKs and expect to clear everything. Um, or, or whatever the class is at the time. But, but just class stacking and, and nuking things down isn't necessarily going to work for everyone week one. Yeah, and try, trying to pass will be interesting as well because... You know, where 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 in rough, you know, the majority of bosses even in ICC, you know, if I if I'm like, right, I, I want to pass on this boss, I ignore all mechanics and just nuke. And I just know whatever like, you know, let's say Sarfang, I won't switch to ads. Uh, I mean I'm expected to, but I won't. Everyone else can kill him. Uh rot face, I'm not gonna run out if I got a slime on me. Uh, yeah, you know, like yeah. you just you just pump and it's like no f it. like the rest of the raid will pick up the slack, it's fine. Um and I know that's not like, you know, you shouldn't raid like that all the time, but I'm talking, you know, just on a, a certain boss that maybe you want to pass on. Um, you ain't going to be able to do that in Kata. You will stick out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. You will literally go, no, I'm passing on this boss, and you'll wipe the raid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's yeah. going to be fun. You know, as as early as going in on, um, like, Armatron Council, um, you know, when you walk into Blackwing Descent, I mean, oh. it, if you switch your brain off and start just nuking one target... Like you, you, you literally wipe the raid. Like you've got to just yeah. pay attention. I wouldn't say mechanically there's not that many bosses that I think are like super challenging. Um, some of them like there feels like there's a lot more going on than there is. Um, but you like know, Ryolith, that's gonna be fun to see on classic. Oh, I mean, Ryolith's just that—that that is an absolute <laughs> great fight if it works properly. I mean, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Yes. But I think also it also depends on largely, sadly, I have to say this, but what Warcraft logs allows when it comes to parsing for people who are parse brain, like, what are they demanding for the parses? What can you do? Because a lot of the times you'll have like ad, ads need to die on some fights, but they don't count for your parse. So a lot of people just ignore those ads and then they end up wiping because the ads didn't go off. So I think it depends yeah, a lot on what happens with some of these bosses. I, I, I kind of like that, right? Oh, like yeah. people figuring out ways to to cheese things so that you don't have to do that um so yeah there's there's an element that people are eventually going to break it and just nuke through it but i i think progression you're going to see a lot less people just doing zigzag zig tactics mm -hmm. mm, without a doubt yeah so one thing then in terms of raiding and i'm really, really interested to hear you guys opinion is where do you both stand on gdqp's being in car I love them. Uh, GDQPs don't bug me. Yeah, I, I don't do them in SOD because it feels really cringe almost to do SOD 10 man GDKPs. I don't really care about that. Let me go do a whole 10 man and make three gold. But like I did a lot of GDKPs in Lich King because I, I have a lot of alts and it's just like a, it's an easy way for you to be able to go do your raid. So I don't I don't mind it. I definitely think it's going to be a thing in Kata for sure. Um, Obviously in SOD it's not. You can't do it. I don't think that I can't see them banning it uh, in Kata. It's, I think that if they ban GDKPs in Cataclysm, the lower player count that's already going to be there for people that don't want to play Kata is going to be evaporating. Even like more. imagine they ban GDKPs and Lich King, you're screwed. Your people will be unsubbing immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I was being sarcastic when I said I love them, by the way. That's why I laughed when I said I love them. Uh, I, I like, yeah, I'm very indifferent on them. I like, they, it don't matter to me whether they exist or not. But if they do exist, yeah. I'm not paying for the game. You know, as in... I will just go and do one GDKP every few months, and that that pays for my game yeah. time. I like you know, so I, I I abuse the fact that they are there. Um, but if they weren't there, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm quitting Raf because because I don't actually do them. 
I do them for the sole purpose of paying for game time. So I look and I'm yeah. like, oh, I've only got a few months game time left. I'll go and do a GDKP to top it up. Uh, that's literally mm. what I use them for. Um, but I agree, yeah. they should they they should not be banned because it would be really bad for Kata. It would be really bad for the rest of RAF if they was to ban them on RAF because there's probably more GDKP raids than guild raids on a weekly basis. Like, oh, e easily, I think there's more. There's people who like, and I know from being in like one of the servers when I ha you know have like six characters and I have my main guild raid, and then there's people who all their alts, their raids, their mains are just in a big GDKP server and they have set servers every time with gold and they're excited for it. And, you know, that's how they can parse and or speed run if they want to in these guild while making gold. It's like a GDKP guild pretty much is what it is. But instead of guild raids, they're just doing the GDKPs with the same people every time, you know? Mm, yeah. And whether you hate them or love them, that's a, that's, it's in the game. And I think that they, it would be stupid of them to remove GDKPs because people would literally not play the game. It's GDPs are keeping people to playing the game, like a, like overwhelmingly playing them in Lich King at least. Cool. All right. Uh, so on then. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I am looking forward to seeing GDKPs wipe to bosses. It's going to be great. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Yeah. So my fun parts of GDKPs is like my main is in a guild that's decent, right? And we have no problem. And then I go to my alts on GDKPs and they're like, you know, wait, like ICC as an example, they're way behind you know, taking a couple months to kill Heroic Lich King and like, which I'm not knocking anybody who's doing that, but it's just funny because they're like saving all their gold because they want this big, I want the flak three or whatever it is. And they, they yet they're stuck on Cendragosa or whatever boss drops it forever trying to kill it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's still quite impressive at the same time. You know, when you look at some of these GDKPs, especially like on our server where, you know, they go and do a, a, a really time efficient, like 12 or 12 Heroic ICC, you know, maybe they do it an hour and a half or something like that. And you're like, mm -hmm. Jesus, like that, that's incredible, you know, to say that that, that is technically a pug. But then at the same time, we know, yeah, it, it's really, you know, the same 22, 23 people going every week. And there might be a couple that, you know, that change on a weekly basis. But I, 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 as I say, I really like the I really like the system. And when they say about, you know, yeah. RMT, which, you know, we know that it promotes RMT. But I think at this moment in time in Wrath of the Lich King, I... I it's just it like every, the, the economy is out of control. There's already ridiculous amounts of gold in existence. Like, there's no point trying to do anything about it now. They, they can't do anything about it. I think they should, should just be like, hey, guys, there's nothing we can do about it. Keep playing the game. and Because we already know they can't do anything about it. Just don't even act like you can do anything about it. Like, just, it's there. You know what I mean? I, I do, do genuinely think for me that if they made it WoW tokens, be competitive people would rather buy a wow token but no for a little bit more money mm -hmm. but no risk of bans mm -hmm. than rmt but because they are so inefficient it's just why would you ever well not mm. even just that but also a wow token for 20 dollars gets you 4k but that 20 dollars gets you 50k or whatever it is if you go to g2g yeah, or something that's what i mean that's what i mean yeah I mean, yeah yeah and someone is like someone in the homie in chat saying that no one makes them. You can join a casual guild if you don't want a GDP. But the the thing about having a normal guild is you have normal guild times that you have to raid every Tuesday and Thursday. I have to be at this spot doing this. But what if something comes up Tuesday and Thursday and then you can't go to raid and you have to call out and maybe you lose loot prio or whatever the reason is. Versus if you're on a GDP server like Discord server, you just oh there's a ping. Someone needs a warlock or someone needs a priest. I can oh I can fit this time. This is nice. Or you can just the GDP allows you to get a raid in whenever you have time especially i'm a, like i'm a dad i'm a gamer dad like I, if for some reason i can't raid tomorrow for my raid i miss my raid lockout that's why now i have to pug it and struggle or i can just go to a gdkp whenever i have time to do that gdkp you know mm, yeah yeah, yeah and, and that's what they're great for yeah mm -hmm. uh okay so that's why people should be excited for kata so why do you think there's so much negativity around kata you know like what why do people go oh my god like lol why are you playing kata you know these people that are already playing Wrath of the Lich King or Season of Discovery, like, what, what's, your, what's your views? What, what do you think the most think the common problems are? the main reason I hear people saying, one of the main reasons is I get a lot is when I ask, is the Dragon Soul how long Dragon Soul was? Which I think is a ludicrous answer because that's the end of the game. And uh, look how long ICC is going, for example. I don't know if that's one of the reasons. I mean, obviously the revamped world is the reason people, which I combat with, you don't level in the world. You're lying if you're telling me that you have eight alts and you're going to sit there and level them one to 60 or whatever. Like you're or one to 80 or whatever it is, right? Um, like you're not going to dungeon finder your way up or have heirlooms, which a lot of us already have in Lich King anyway. The talent revamp system is another one, which I think, like you said earlier, that alluded to with MOP. 
the talent system doesn't cha- changes. Like you have your specs, like you can go Af, Demo, or Affliction, and you get or, or Af, Demo, Destro, and you get a certain passive which one and a different spell. I mean, one thing people complain is you can't really hybrid that much. You have to have 31 points into one talent before you hit one full tree before you put a point into another one. Uh, which I guess that's kind of valid, but I haven't really found a valid reason why people don't like it. LFR, I guess. I haven't really found a super valid reason, to me at least, but maybe I'm just different of how I feel about it. For me, uh, and I've done uh, quite a bit of research into this, um, and so Cat was a massive sub drop off originally for for WoW. Um, also, like people thought it was Kata, but if you actually look at it, it was the ICC drought that led to a lot of players dropping off. Kata then had a massive spike, but came in with massively hard heroics and things like that. It was a completely different game to Wrath at the time. Um, and, and people left again. They had other options. Mm-hmm. I think now we've got, you know, it's it's not going to be as difficult at all. Um, and I, I actually agree with the Dragon Soul thing. I stopped playing during Dragon Soul because it was so long. It was boring. Um, but by that logic, it's exactly the reason I stopped playing ICC is because, you know, it, it's been out so long that I don't want to do it anymore. Um, but that's something they've already talked about a shorter Kata expansion. So, you know, that's one of the things that hopefully we can see a little bit faster paced content um, and, and hopefully get around a couple of those issues. But I genuinely think at this point, the biggest reason that people are negative towards Kata is because it's cool to be negative towards Kata, right? It is that it's better to have those opinions because any other opinion, you just get shot down. Mm. Mm, yeah like i said i think people i think it's just popular to, i think it's just like the cool thing to hate on cat like nickelback i said like it's just one of those things where a nickelback song plays and everybody hates on it like why i don't know i don't really listen to nickelback that much but it's the same thing with cat it's just like it's cool to hate on it i think i i'll stand on the hill where it's like people were growing up when cat came out graduating their college maybe their careers were taken off they had kids they got married and they just naturally couldn't play games and they're like you know what i had a good run with you know vanilla tbc and lunch king and now i'm done and then, I don't know. That's what they just die on. Instead of just being like, yo, I grew up and stopped playing games. They're just like, I despised it. And when you, uh, no clue. When you, when you, when you talk about numbers, um, so what Jay said was right. Um, actually, the, the, the highest peak Blizzard hit was Cataclysm. The, the, first, the first few months of Cataclysm. Um, and actually... Like when people go, oh, it was, you know, it was the death of WoW and that was when it started going downhill. It was like half of Cataclysm had as many subscribers as Raft did and more than TBC mm-hmm. did. Um, it was like the big drop off really was the end. It was Dragon Soul. And, uh, and th- that's for two reasons. Like when people say, oh, it's because Dragon Soul lasted too long. That's, that's only a part of it. Yes, it did. But it was also a very short, very shit last raid of an expansion. Like if Dragon Soul was, uh, you know, that was that weren't the last raid. There was one more raid after it, and it was a nice big raid like ICC or something like that. Then I think it would have been a completely different story. But you had like the last boss of Cataclysm being Deathwing, which was just an awfully designed fight, like not fun to do whatsoever, um, not rewarding whatsoever to kill. It was just, it was just, a, it's a terrible raid. Dragon Soul really is a terrible raid. And all Blizzard needs to do is just make sure we're not in there very long. <laughs> That's it. Well, the the thing is, is that we missed an entire patch. Yeah. In original Cataclysm. Yeah. So we were supposed to have the four elemental raids. So you had Black, uh, BRD, which was going to be Earth, Throne of Four Winds for fire, Earth for air, obviously Firelands for fire. We were supposed to then have a Vashir raid. I believe it was going to be the Abyssal Moor, Abyssal which Moor. was going to be water. So it was. We were gonna have a whole other raid that we were supposed to go to that would have broken up that time period, and it just never happened. And don't worry, I'm not gonna argue and defend that it wasn't a finished product. It wasn't, and and I, I think Cataclysm would have gone down as probably the greatest expansion had we have had that extra raid. Um, but generally, I, I think that if we're not if we sit in Dragon Soul for another 20 weeks, it's going to go back. It, like, people are going to leave again. Like, totally. Um, and But if they stick to the idea of it being a fast-paced expansion, I, I don't see a reason for people not to play it. 
Which is uh, crazy because ICC is going on for how long? Yeah, it's 20, know, 20, 20 odd, odd weeks. So. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. ICC is it's already outstayed its welcome, in my opinion. And the fact that yeah. we're going to probably do it for another, I don't know, 13 resets or something still, yeah. it's going to be like the longest it's just silly to raiding classic. hate on a, an entire expansion for the end of the expansion. Just stop playing the expansion at that point and wait for the next one, like I'm doing right now with, with Lich King. Mm, yeah. Yeah, totally. Uh, the thing I, that gets I me is a lot of people get is in between like that ZAZF or ZGZA phase. People hated that. But like they're already, I remember asking in the interview, right they're already going to summon it down and make it so it's not a whole phase of just doing the five mans, you know? Yeah, see, I would have it as a, uh, like, I thought about this a lot. And yeah, all, like obviously in that phase, that is literally all you get. You know, it's a catch up phase, but it's it's meant to like bridge the gap between um you know the tier, tier 11 and tier 12 you know that's the, the whole point of it really is so like if you joined late you've now got an easy way to get some free five free pieces to you know then go into firelands with so I, I mean i would have it i would actually have it as a standalone phase still and that would like would be the phase where i put in like let's say there's no joyous journeys i would have phase one mm -hmm. is just everything's normal and phase two i would have as like, i don't know four weeks Four weeks ish, six weeks, not long, not long at all. A sh really short phase, um, but that's when Joyous Journeys comes in. That's when you know, I don't know, whatever they want to do, where it just helps people get to max level quicker. Um, you know, so it could almost be classed as the catch up phase, getting you ready for Firelands. Because like, I think yeah. a lot of people would be hyped for Firelands more so than the first phase. I mean, just being able to go do Ragnaros again, Firelands is an epic raid. Um, I would do something like that. I don't think that's what they're going to do. I think they're actually just going to put Zolgarb and Zolaman in with Firelands, mm -hmm. which I, the reason I don't like I that think... is because there's a lot of content with Firelands with a Molten Front and dailies and all of that, you know. I, I they made it seem like there's going to be a add... mid-patch. Like yeah, I was going to say. Up. I feel like they have to add it mid-tier 11, which is kind of what they did anyway, but it has to come in early and then not stay for so long that it feels like it's the only content yeah. like you can't do a two or three month phase with just introducing za and zg as a five man like it, like you do your first phase and then a month later drop za zg or like let it be out for like a month a few lockouts and then go into firelands you know yeah opinion. it'd be like a point a point also, save a point five type phase yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than exactly. a phase. yeah yeah i also wouldn't mind seeing molten front come in like a couple of weeks before firelands yeah which it obviously didn't originally originally it came out at the same time um but you then had people sitting in firelands for you know 12 hours doing rep grinds so you're talking about using the content like you have a whole load of content story and everything else there that is supposed to prepare us to go into firelands and we never actually do it because we're too busy sat in firelands mm, yeah 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 having it having it as almost yeah like a a, a pre-event to Firelands coming. Yeah, I think that would be quite cool. Or maybe that was the same time as Zolgarum and Zolaman. You know, the point five phase brought the Molten Front and Zolgarum and Zolaman and Joyous Journeys. So it really is like a come on, let's get ready for Firelands type phase. Yeah, for like four yeah. weeks or something. Hmm. No, it's you know what I'm excited for more, almost more than anything. Rated Battlegrounds. I you know Jay is. Person. Oh, well, I thought you yeah, would have been well excited for that, Jay. For rated battlegrounds, though. Um, wanna be? They have to make some changes. One? They have to make some changes for rated battlegrounds to be fun for me. Uh, I pushed rated battlegrounds. I was two point four k in Kata, and it was the worst experience because every single person had, you know, by the time you, I, I pushed, every single person had a legendary staff, every rogue had daggers, everyone had dragon soul train kits. Again, I pushed at the end of the expansion, obviously, but... Um, yeah, well, that one's on you, right? Because you put you waited so long to push, right? Well, I waited until it was free. Oh, true. But as it, is, as it is right now, there's, like, no reason that anyone would push until dragon soul comes out because it's just so much easier to push. Um, I think people are going to push think... out the gate because people already do a bunch of BGs without have it without needing a reason to. Now they're rated like it's something. It's a and you get a title for it. There's achievement they, for it. If they made it s solo queuable, I would do it all day long. I, I genuinely think so. Two changes I'd like to see with it: make it solo queuable, 
um but you have to have like certain amount of pvp gear or something some restrictions you can't just queue in for like with no gear at all you still have to do that grind for the gear um and don't allow legendaries in there I think they're definitely going to do something with the pre-made situation. Granted, like I'm one of the guys who will be doing pre-mades, but like they have to make it so you people who don't want to sit there and go to discords and look for pre-mades can, can enjoy it, can play it. Yeah. That would help the community out more uh, for the people who don't do pre-mades. You know, I don't know how they could do that. Like restricting no legendaries. I don't know how they're going to do all that, but they doing something like that. So would that's, help a lot. That is something that almost every cat a private server does is they don't allow legendaries in arenas or RBGs. And it makes for a much better balanced experience. So the thing is with pre-mades and that, though, just on that, is like every guild should have an RBG team because it's guild XP every week and gold in the guild bank every week. You know, it's like, like we will. Well, we, we'll be doing it as a guild. Uh, uh, yeah, not necessarily pushing for actual rating and trying to get all the achievements or whatever, but, you know, it will be. we'll be doing it every week just for the guild XP at a bare minimum. So I feel like yeah, there should I, be a lot of activity, you know, a, like a hell of a lot of people doing it. As an additional source of content, just, you know, log in with the boys, have a beer and, and do an RPG, that will be great. And I thoroughly look forward to it. In terms of it actually being a serious point of, of farmable content, I think there's things they can do to make it better. But like arenas, um, again, I, I've said it recently that I hope Blizzard have a little bit more of an eye on PvP for Cataclysm in terms of balance or certainly bug fixes at least, but balance would be nice as well um, because Cataclysm was one of the worst balanced PvP expansions. Like, MOP is is the, the worst with Cataclysm then being slightly behind it just because the addition of the legendaries changed the meta so badly that like some things were just unplayable at the time. Um, so if you was to think about phase two again, I just want to go back there just for a sec. Um, and if it was like quite a catch up phase um, and on the basis, we don't actually have that much content in terms of raids. When you really think about, you know, we, after the first phase is out of the way, you've got two pretty small raids to look forward to, even though they're good rate. Right? Yeah, well, Firelands is good, um, but, you know, it's still only like seven bosses. Uh, you know, there's still two quite small raids. So what about I'm adding like a time walking raid for phase two? Specifically Karazhan, I'll put it out there. That's that's what I would want. And I think it would be one of the easier ones for him to do. Anything that brings Karazhan back. I love Karazhan. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll show the one, yeah. Uh, something that adds, you know, uh, uh, like I, I mentioned it, like the time walking or fated raid, something like that. They've done it with other content. Like you could have something like come in 0.5 of phase two. So, you know, you've got Morton Front and, and Firelands Prog and all that sort of stuff. And then something comes in as kind of catch-up gear for Phase 2. Um, and, and you could even do the same thing with Dragon Soul. Have something come in kind of 0.5 Dragon Soul so that we've got a little bit more content. But I think, so I, this is where I think they need to be doing that stuff. Like, th this, is, this is the time for them to actually, you know, like not sit and look at Classic as being just a re-release. You know, they need to look at it as like, how can we add value to it this time around? Where were the flaws? Where can we put content in? You know, they're doing it for season discovery. So, you know, there's no way that, you know, just tuning Karazhan up to level 85 would be out of their wheelhouse. Uh, you, you know, they should be looking at doing these things and really being like, look, guys, yeah, you, you claim you didn't like Cataclysm the first time around. Let's see how much you like it now. Now there's a hell of a lot more to actually do. You know, you've got some of those nostalgic raids to go back and get gear from. I think it'd be epic. Have they talked anything about Titan Rune Dungeons yet? Yeah, there's going to be some form yeah, of Euro Plus. Which... I feel like there's so much they can do with it, but it hasn't really been explored yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean I I'd be happy with them throwing the tides. I know that. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If yeah, we've I'm got pre. That one. If we've got pre nerf yeah, but... heroics and then you can make them even more difficult, I mean. That that would be that that would be interesting five man content. As long as there's a reason to do them, and even if that reason is just an achievement, a title, cosmetic, whatever. Um, I, like I love the idea of kind of the Final Fantasy Extreme modes, where there's like no reason to do it other than ego. Like just I get to flex on people. Like absolutely, I would do <laughs> all of the content for that reason. Yeah, a mount. Yeah, like once you've done all of them, or 
Like, I mean, you know, that's why I absolutely love challenge modes, and it's just been mentioned in chat yeah. as well. Uh, challenge modes will always remain one of my favourite pieces of content that was ever put in WoW. Um, just because, yeah, you you weren't getting loot from it. I love the fact that everyone was in exactly the same boat, you know, and you, it even gave reason to go and do heroics because, like, there would be bis items in heroics, you know, it, even though you'd think you'd go and get all raid gear, that's not the case. You know, there would be bis items that came from five-man heroics that are better than, you know, 25-man raid gear. Um, it was insane. And then actually just getting it down and... You know, eventually being so good at it, you can like take someone else through. You know, you someone, you know, one of your mates joins the server. It's like, right, let's get him. You know, get him his mount and transmog. Like, mate, if they if they put challenge modes in instead of actually being Titan Room dungeons, I would be ecstatic. I mean, all I'm saying is you might as well add Mythic Plus to Kata. I'll say it, icy take, but I mean, I, I don't, so you're halfway there. Yeah, I, I love the idea of Mythic Plus. Like, I, I am a Mythic Plus player on retail. Um, I, I love that content. I don't think it would be well received in Kata personally, but I think people would do it if they do in Gamma. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of already there, you know. It's it's adding a timer, absolutely, yeah. and and I, I've I've said this, yeah, as well. Like, like imagine they... getting a, a buffed up C star or something. You know what I mean? To something just like huge that you're getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, and it's replayable content. And people would make it competitive as well. Yeah, something. I mean, you're already there for the gammas. I think obviously the, the thing is there's going to be people complaining no matter what anyway. Whether they leave the game the same as no changes or they add this or they do this, there's always going to be doomers that complain about the game. Yeah. So I think they look at the people, at the majority of the people who actually care about Cata like we do. We actually want to play it. We've been playing it. We're trying to spread the good word about it. We're trying to get people to play it, which is making Blizzard money. Like, you know, listen to the community on what they want. You know what I mean? Don't do the feels craft shit. When it comes to Mythic Plus, like, I, I would like Mythic Plus, and I would like to, yeah, like push high keys in, 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 in MOP even, not even just Kata. Um, mm. I think the one thing that would potentially not, not put me off, but where I'd be like, they, the implementation would need to be right. Like, you know, the gear that yeah. comes from it shouldn't, almost shouldn't be a legitimate, half of gearing up for raids you know like mythic plus it, i would want it almost like mm -hmm. challenge modes but yeah you can push high keys and go as high as you want but you know your gear that like it don't drop items and your gear is literally the same you know so let's say three five three you know your gear everybody scales down to three five three and then you can push as high as you yeah. want um and you mm -hmm. don't like it, i think it's mega important that it's not like a substitute for raiding you know where yeah, you can just push the and get gear. Yeah. Should always drop the best loot. Mm, yeah, like a rating should always drop the best loot, in my opinion. But it'd be a good way to. Ca I mean, I don't. Need, it'd be a, that's a whole other topic of trying to figure out how they could even do the loot for Mythic Plus and a vault or whatever, or what drops at the end and the timings and stuff, or even a fixes. But I mean, it just sounds like it'd be kind of fun. Like explore a little bit about it. You know, they're free to explore with Sod, but it's like how much do they want to go off track with with Kata versus original Kata? You know. So uh, I suppose that leads to an interesting point. Then is. Do, is there a way Blizzard wins right now? Because, like you said, Crix, whatever happens, there's going to be so many people complaining at them and so many people having their own opinions of what should and shouldn't exist in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and this is why I was kind of disappointed with the survey they sent out, because they sent a survey out and went, here's all this cool stuff that we, you know, would you like to see it in the game? And then we've got to this point, it's like, we haven't heard about any of that. So are we getting it? Are we not? Are, it, does it exist? Um, because we don't know what to expect at the moment. You know, we've kind of been give, mi given mixed messages, really. Yeah, I think this is the season when we start figuring things out. I think this is what this is the first step is just giving us beta, and they go from there. I think now it's Cata season. Obviously, there's Sod out. I love Sod. We're all playing Sod. I'm not quitting Sod or nothing like that. But I think now it's just time they're they're starting to flirt with Cata a little bit. And the basic step of Cata is the build that we're in right now, which is guys go test one to sixteen. Let us know how shit it is. Or how good it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which overall, I think it's doing fine. Obviously, there's bugs, but I'm I'm surprised at how good it's doing and how fun it is. And I think next is they're gonna worry about I don't know the dungeons, what ray testing down the road. But we're still ways off from Cata. I don't know what you guys were gonna ask. What you guys think for a release time for Cata? Besides uh, just the summer, but I mean, and end of May, got, I would, got a little whiles to work on, you know. I would say end of May pre patch because they can drag the pre patch out for a good six to eight weeks if they want to. 
Um, and mm. then from there, it would be probably July release, I would say. Yeah, first week of July. Oh, yeah. That, that, that would be July, my guess. I guess, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's exactly that. You know how I look at it, and when people who you know the people who are saying how bad Cat is going to be, and you know they're currently playing Season of Discovery, there's no way. Uh, you know, at some point in time, they'll what they'll be bored of Season of Discovery because they're raid logging or they're full bis and there's nothing going on, and they'll just log on Cat and level a character and be like, oh, I'll have a look. You know, it's like it, even if you don't think right now you're going to play Cataclysm, at some point. I, I've been on retail recently, and I know I don't play retail like you two, um, but I've been bored enough to install it and just go on and do a bit of leveling and see what's going on. And you know what I mean? It's like, because it's there, it's literally free. I could go and buy another game, or I can play a game I know I already like, but just a different version of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I do that regularly. You know, I've been on Classic Era. I was leveling a Paladin not that long ago on Classic Era, um, just because I hadn't leveled on Classic Era for ages. So I thought, oh, I'll go on there and have a go. Um, but obviously, yeah, I'm I'm very different in the fact that like I'm not a vanilla fanboy. I'm not like I mean I am a bit of a raf fanboy to be fair. But you know, like I, I will play any of them, and I'm open to whatever Blizzard do. You know, Season of Discovery is great, um, but I just don't feel like there's enough content at the moment. Which you know, like you you just said, Crix, when we get into the level sixty phases, you know, there should be plenty to do, reps to do. You know, mm -hmm. raids are going to be a lot longer than they are now, and like you know, we don't know what else is going to be added. Uh, just at the moment, uh, you know, for me, I just feel like uh, the the options are raid log, uh, which happens very quickly, or level more characters and then raid log on more characters. <laughs> like you know, the, the, yeah, the the options are fairly limited. Sure. I just feel like and I'm not a big fan of subscriptions for games. I'd much prefer like you just pay a one time fee, obviously, but like it's you get a good. I feel like you get a good bang for your buck right now if you if you like World of Warcraft and the world of World of Warcraft. I guess what I'm trying to say, like you we'll find something to do if you don't want to hate on it people hate on retail you can log in retail i guarantee you can find something to do so I'd, uh, there's there's so much stuff a, to do with the game right now if you have an open mind and i think that's the thing that we need to start like i, I say we but like just generally like the community needs to normalize like you know you you could play nothing else but wow for a this entire year and you you wouldn't run out of things to do because mm -hmm. you could jump into you know you, you go and clear wrath well that's great you can then go and do something else in another game um and i and i think if if that's the case like i'm kind of ba like backflipping a little bit here and, and going slightly different to my opinion earlier but actually if you look at things like kata you have a lot of you know content already you mix that in with everything else and look at big picture. Actually, there's a lot to do. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. If you don't like Kata, the thing is, if you want to try Kata, it's free to try because you're already paying for some other version of the game, and then you just find out if you like it or not. It's oh. a very raid log friendly game again. Very all friendly. Very raid, all, all of WoW is a raid log friendly game. That's the point. It's an MMO. Like the, thankfully, even retail, you can raid log. There's no systems you need in retail to do every month. You don't have to log in every day and do something. Sod's the same way. You, you besides the leveling and whatever you need to farm from STV, you're raid logging. You know, hardcore. I guess hardcore is different because that's a whole different like game mode. But like every bit of the Lich King, you're raid logging. There's nothing you got to do every single day. So, so I Go find it very fun to just like I said, occasionally. And I'm not saying like this is weekly, monthly, whatever. It just depends what's going on in in Sod, Raf you know, soon to be Kata, but I really enjoy, and Jay knows I do it, uh, you know, I'll just log on retail, and it might only be two or three days, and that'll be it, it'll be a couple of days, I'll go on retail, I'll do some leveling, don't, maybe don't even get to max level, you know, I might, I don't know, get to 30, 40 or whatever, but, you know, just for a change of pace, a change of, yeah, yeah. like, just a yeah, change of scenery, um, and it's mm -hmm. free, you know, even just doing some retail dungeons on on the way up, you know, it, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why people feel the need to be so like. Well, oh no, sod is my I think game. You have to pay for a dragon fight. Like, there's like a thirty dollar or whatever for that expansion, right? Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to. You, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. I, 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 you know, you, you might not even get to max level. You know, you you could just get yeah. up to like sh whatever the Shadowlands max level was or whatever. You know, uh, but you can still go on there and enjoy it for free because uh, mm -hmm. you get all the way up to the previous expansion, don't you? If I remember rightly. No, so when when War Within comes out, you'll have dra everyone. I love Dragonflight. Yeah. Um, which again, when you think about that, that's that is mm. you know you you like I know you're not going to get to experience Dragonflight how it's intended to be experienced with everybody else at the same time, 
But, you know, everyone's going to have Dragonfly at some point for free. Yeah, yeah. I, I like free. <laughs> uh, all right, next I just point. Love WoW. It's a beautiful time to play WoW. Me too. It's, but, just a, it's a good time. I love it, man. But what? So first, we'll do a first phase of content overview, and then we'll call it a call it a day. So, right. oh, Jay, Jay, do you wanna do you wanna take us away? Like, you know, what 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 have we got in phase one to look forward to? Well, I believe it's. I'm gonna go off a, on a limb and say it's eight heroics, but that's probably wrong. Um, and three raids, four raids, four raids. Uh, one of them being like a Vault of Archivon type raid, which. You know, for the amount of content that is, is just insane. And mm -hmm. it's genuinely one of the best raid tiers that has existed in WoW. Um, like, all the way through retail and things like that as well. It's a very, very cool raid uh, tier. So, phase one is going to be amazing. The, the pre-raid kind of grind, getting your reputations farmed, which isn't like a massive grind anymore. It's something that's quite easily accessible. Um, genuinely, like, phase one car is going to be amazing uh i'm like that's probably the bit that i'm like super excited for i plan on just doing nothing else but car for like a good two three months uh correct I think the rating in phase one's gonna be a lot of fun blackwing and bastion are gonna be uh, i don't care about throwing that that much but you know I I hate that fun. you got a lot of time for heroics we're gonna be all no life in it you had the raids i think the pvp is great you know i'm yeah. worried about the gap in between one and two phase one and two but hopefully it's not too long I mean, even the, the new battlegrounds, like Battle for Gilneas, it, it is mm -hmm. actually probably one of my favourite battlegrounds. Be, be be that a popular or unpopular opinion, I think it's a great one. Um, and Toll Barrett. Oh, whatever. Actually, Toll Bar yeah, I was about to say the same. Go ahead. I was going to say the same shit. Yeah. Like, that's not. Uh, I think it's better than Wintergrasp. I despise it. <laughs> I hate I hate the meta for Toll Barrett. Yeah, that's why it's going to be cancer. If guilds, or if if depending on server population, if people do the the efficient way, which let's face it, that's that's the what's going to happen now, then you're going to swap to Tolbarad. You're literally going to faction swap it. Yeah, you just every two and a half hours. Yeah, which isn't fun for anyone, um, but it is the efficient option, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it is broad. it's kind of um well, I won't, won't say forced but um I, I reckon a lot of tanks are probably going to want to get their rep as well aren't they well i don't think i don't think the trinket's a bit for anyone outside of tanks but yeah i know the the trink tank trink is um, very very strong was it like an enchant you get from it that's why you do it or some shit uh no there's an, it, there's there's the trinket which oh yeah um, that's the trinket but anyone but tank yeah i think scott's right anyone but tank it isn't this but it's a good option tanks have to have it basically mm. um for me who's like an avid pvp or especially prefer world pvp i actually get more enjoyment out of the dailies for toll Barrett than i do the actual toll Barrett event because running around and just wool pvping doing your dailies is hilarious and the amount of fun i've had on different servers doing that is great and i will do exactly the same thing again in the next in, in cat classic you're talking you're talking specifically to the toll barrow daily isn't you like yeah, the, yeah in the toll barrow zone drinking people yeah yeah, yeah. see, yeah, see yeah. that that's more what i was but what, when i said i love toll barrow i was more talking about the zone than the event actually yeah, uh, because well, I agree with that. yeah, the event I I haven't done that much recently. Obviously, yeah, a, a, a lot probably not that I can remember during original cata. But the dailies, yeah, I used to do the dailies quite regularly. Um, and yeah, like you say, just just fun sort of um, a fun place to go and do open world PvP. And I would imagine how does that work on a PVE server? Will it be? Will it be like? If you're in the zone, you will be PvP flag. Maybe phases you in. Like I'm kind of hoping that's the um, case. I don't think the daily area is PvP flagged. Hmm. They should think about changing that. That would like for PvE servers, it would make it more interesting. Although the PvE servers, let's face it, like most servers are bloody just all one sided anyway, and you won't see anyone. So that's why you make the opposite faction so you can gank everyone. It's great. Mm, yeah. Um, but, I mean, someone's mentioned archaeology, which 
I'm looking forward to doing once and then never touching it again. Same. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it the first time. Um, but yeah, literally just the first time. I've I've just about recovered from the 15 years ago that I did it last time. It's just you you Damn. just it's not really going to be something you know where you're going to want to uh, stream it and you know find it fun like it's you put Netflix on and you just switch your brain off and get it done. You know that that's yeah, the sort of content it is because it's it's very 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 boring but very chill if you just want something to like do in the background while you're watching something. Um, what else have we got? So yeah, heroics raids. So we got um, yeah the two the battlegrounds, Toll Barrad. Oh, if you're you're like, how do you think eighty eighty five is going to be done? That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, two point five hours. Well, I mean, uh, there'll be the, the you know during the beta, obviously different, like completely cheesy ways of doing it are going to be found. Yeah. But if you're just running around questing and then doing the occasional dungeon, I think like fifteen ish hours is is pretty good. Three hours a level. I think for most people it will be closer to closer or above four hours a level actually. But you know, if, I think if I was uh, if I was just questing and I could do three hours a level, I'd be happy with that. Mm. Yeah. Makes Find sense. out on the beta here soon. If you are interested in PvP, again, I would argue that Phase 1 RBGs and Phase 1 Arenas is amazing and probably the most balanced PvP will be in Cataclysm. There's no broken items yet. No well, there's no, no broken items, no overtuned trinkets, no overtuned yeah. kind of, yeah, crazy things. Um, there are some classes and specs that are just completely unviable, but you know, for the majority of things, every class has something that they could play in PvP. So if it's something that people are interested in, um, you're rewarded for it. The gear is actually decent for stepping into raids with. Um, because you know, main stat becomes so high priority, like agility, intellect strength becomes so high priority that you know, having higher eye level pieces isn't a bad idea. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely worth doing. You get guild XP as well. So I'm sure that most guilds will have some group of 10 people go in and try and win an RBG every week. Um, there's something we haven't really I talked can't about. Wait for RBGs, I, man. I'm hoping that <laughs> I know they've already talked about guild uh, rewards and how, or certainly guild perks and how that things might change with that. I am mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing what comes of that because I think it's a really cool idea. I just think it was executed really badly. Yeah, like guild. I like guild achievements and guild perks, and yeah, I, I like well, the, mass res, right? Yeah, mass res, ma, ma, uh, mass summon. Like, I, you know, th some of them, all right, may need addressing. Um, some of the rewards, but you know, there's a lot, yeah, that they could do with the guild system if they wanted to get I was creative. Arguing with someone for Kata, and he was so mad about it. He's like, "It's so corny. You get mass res," and I was like, "Are you really mad that you can? You don't have to singly res people? Like what?" <laughs> like you wanna this... just, you're getting that mad you're just getting mad you're hate a game because you have to actually singly mass rest people instead of everybody after a wipe is this the, the hill you really want to die on right like yeah like is this all the things thing you that complain you... about you're going to complain about that it's like the people who complained about soul well being in the game you know on sod people complained about that mm -hmm. what what yeah not warlocks <laughs> trust me we didn't complain yeah, about yeah, that but i was like, gonna yeah. say <laughs> people were like yeah this... warlocks should have to spend one shard every time to fuck out of here I didn't know Solwell was in the game in Sod. Does he mean? Do you mean summon? Yeah, is Solwell? Is Solwell? I meant the. I meant the. Uh, oh, you mean closet? Closet. Closet. Yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant I'm not gonna lie. I've just had a complete like aneurysm trying to go. <laughs> why have I not got a Solwell? <laughs> wait, my bad. I meant the, I meant out the, raid. Yeah, yeah. I think Solwell's gonna come <laughs> as well. But you know. oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully. I meant to say closet. Mm, yeah. Um, but no, I, I mean some of those, me. some of those things, you know, like yeah. Uh, yeah, like you say, is that is that really what you're going to complain about? Mass res, the, the mass summon, I think needs changing. Um, at the moment, you know, it mm. it will it'll be it can be used near an instance portal or in or in the outside world. You know, they're the stipulations. So basically, you can't do it inside a raid. Um, mm. but I actually don't think you should be able to do it anywhere other than outside an instance portal. You know, there's still ways to get around that. Um, but you know, I don't I like. Being able to mass re uh, mass summon everyone into Stormwind, 
for example, to, to you know, to do the world, not world bosses, you know, the faction leaders. Um, you know, there's a lot of ways that it, it's really sort of abused and removes fun. Uh, so, like, I would have it, I would actually have it so it can only work outside a raid, a, a raid portal, not even an instance portal. Because that's, no, that's, what, that's what it's for, isn't it? You know, that's really what it's for. It's for raiders. You have summon stones, right? Like, actually outside dungeons. So yeah, there's yeah. just no need for mass summon to exist in um, anything but raids. No. That, uh, that's the only one I don't like. You know, and, I, and, and like, I don't even really care about cash flow, to be honest with you. It's like, yeah, oh, well. I, had a, I had a great time spending all the money I got in the guild in Kata on uh, with cash flow. Oh, I bet you did. I'm excited to see what they take out of the game if they take things out like Matt, like how Warlock's Mastery Swap, you know, or like pet twisting. I want to see, I want to see what really bad what they pet, leave pet, and take out. I, th I think pet twisting will exist. I hope Mastery yeah, Swap do. doesn't. I agree. I think pet twist, the only thing I'm worried about pet twisting is if they make it so your demon soul buff doesn't stay when you swap pets. I could see that triggering off for some reason. I hope not because you would shatter Warlocks, but I definitely think mm -hmm. Mastery Swaps won't be in for some reason. Well, I mean, it's probably not the topic for this this uh, like kind of special. Say that for next time. <laughs> D dark intent needs needs talking about as well. Yeah, I've seen people Why? complain about dark intent, but I mean, I compare dark Why? intent to like focus magic. You know, it's... yeah. Why are they complaining about it? I'm not complaining. I'm going to be a warlock. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to make so much money. I'm just going to run to the the. I'm going to run into the nearest shadow priest, wrestle druid, survival hunter, and call it a day. Mm, yeah one of those uh, it's definitely going on whoever gives me the most damage <laughs> yeah. i have seen a lot of people Every complaining time. about about it and saying like you know it shouldn't be in the game only you know it's a buff that only like two people get any benefit from and, and my comeback is always the same it's like so should we remove focus magic like yeah you know, it's only it's only the mage and a uh, yeah i mean even pi yeah um yeah. you know the, these things yeah, unfortunately, like if you want all of your casters that can benefit from it to benefit from it, you're gonna need to take more warlocks. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, um, anything else in phase one? Yeah, yeah I, think I think that's about yeah. it. I don't think, I think that was a good video. Good video. Cool. All right. Well, uh, do you want to say say your goodbyes, Jay? Where where people can find you if you didn't mention it at the start? Yeah, I'm um, so on YouTube uh, at MedJ, but um, I'm away at the moment, so I'm not able to record particularly much, but I'm trying to. Um, one day I'll, you know, find a Blizzard employee and get some beta, and then uh, hopefully some cat videos coming. Hell yeah. Cool. And Crix, other than uh, uh, other than just the obvious just find me everywhere. Crix vibes everywhere. Yeah, I'm streaming beta right now. I'll be no life in the beta. I specialize in Warlock videos, but I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone for Kata and making... A bunch of other stuff so i think i'd like to do think another one of these soon we can do we can do a few of these this would be kind of fun like during beta to hype up cat i think we can and i think we can help hype cat up a little bit more you know yeah i'm down just when, whenever man just shout whenever you got time yeah. and i'm sure jay will jump on anytime and we can uh yeah i'm always down to talk about cat yeah. yeah yeah definitely it's been fun